Hi everyone. Um, I want to do a quick video on some emotions regarding mannerisms and also um, just a just how I, I feel about binding and what I personally am enduring. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about binding real quick. I've said in my previous videos, if anybody's watched them, that I have claustrophobia. And so, um, I have gotten a binder that is one size larger than what my measurements are. Primarily not because of just the claustrophobia, but because my shoulders are so broad. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, thick in my upper body. So, when I when I was binding in the beginning, it was okay. And I, I bought the uh, 997 from uh, Wonderworks, I believe it is. Uh, the double-breasted, whatever it's called. And it, it would go clear down over my butt and everything. And it, it was fine. And then when the fat started redistributing, I started losing my, my butt. And then it started curling up. I couldn't tolerate that. It started putting pressure on my kidneys and on my back. And so I was unable to bind all the time. Well, I got so sick of it one day, I cut the binder to about the size of a sports bra. Much better, much better. But the problem I have with binding in general is that to me, it pushed me closer together where I had cleavage and I just you talk about dysphoria I mean I feel bad for the guys who have been bigger than me which I think last time I wore a bra was 38C I've been wearing sports bras for 20 years and I just couldn't stand it I can't stand it it just drives me nuts and so the minute I come in I just I shed it as fast as I can but um, I only have three weeks left, but in case any of you are going through that binding issue, uh, I just tell myself it's just temporarily. It's just while I'm out. And if you guys are real active and never home, well then, you know, <sighs> good luck because I, I don't know if I could do that. But, um, another thing that I've been processing in my mind is, um, I'm a, I'm a very touchy-touchy person, and it's not that I overly touch. It's just that when I'm in conversation and if something's funny or I'm joking with someone, I'll nudge them, I'll put my hand on their shoulder, I'll, you know, if someone's having a hard time or something, I'll put my arm around them or I'll pat them on the back, that kind of thing. And I've always been that way, even when I was younger. And I have thought to myself that I need to kind of watch that especially being male now I know there are males that are touchy touchy I've worked with them but not touchy touchy in a sensual way or a sexual way just being considerate just in a caring way but I know for myself that that's something I'm, I think that I need to work on uh, just kind of holding back and not being so touchy touchy and that might work itself out as I think I communicate a little bit different and I do see a difference um, in communication I don't have I don't feel a need to respond to everything anymore I don't feel a need that I need to react to anything anymore because I almost like what's it worth I mean it's a it's a conversation that's been said over and over and over so that's changed with my um, as far as my conversating with other people and my family especially and, but the other thing is, is that is when people approach me, whether they're passing on a bicycle, walking, or even in cars, if we make eye contact, I'm going to smile at you. And I thought to myself, well, shoot, I'm wondering if that's going to cause me a wreck down the ways because, you know, you men don't usually sit and look at women and make, make eye contact with other people people as they pass by. I shouldn't say men. I should say I haven't noticed that men really make eye contact, especially if they pass by me. 
they kind of just they see me from far off and then they just they just walk on by and I think that um, that's something that I need to work on only because if you got a female walk with a male I think I better make sure that I do the eye contact with the male and not the female it may cause me a wreck but I you know I'm just saying these are things that I've been thinking about and I wanted to share and uh, I know I watched a, a video from a guy I subscribed to he's been on tea for a year now and he says in his video how, how his mind how he has changed in the way he approaches or the way he looks at things so much since before T and at the starting of T. And I think that's just because we're wired different. That's the bottom line. Female males are wired different. And being female body or being male body and transitioning, there's a point where the wires get crossed and you get confused and you're trying to, the body's trying to rewire the brain, you know, and so there's conflict there for a while but I think it all pans out in the end I'm not going to change as a person I'm not going to change I'm not sitting here saying I think I need to change everything about me that's not what I'm saying these are just some things I think about because I like who I am I think I've matured and grown into a solid person and I don't want to give that up for anybody um, and now transitioning has is making that whole is making me a whole and so I just wanted to share these things with you guys I don't know if uh, any of you guys are dealing with that at this time in your transition or if you have dealt with it if you feel like it comment me and, and let me know how you are now and and how you look back at that time and where you've come from and, and where you are. If if you want, you can either personal message me or just comment on the video. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing fine. I'm doing good. Things are moving along. And uh, I'll be updating physical changes next week when I am four and a half months on T. So until then, you guys take care. Bye.